workers. Hope you're all safe and well. What am I up to this week? Well, not a lot. I've started on taking my filter, filter house apart. As soon as I can start putting the deck down for the new filter to go in. But everyone's alright. I'll just spin you around a minute. Yeah, everyone's all right. The water is disgusting. I've had my UV off um, for two weeks now, or well, 14 days now, while I've been doing this fluke treatment. Oh, look at it in there. You can't really see it so much on camera, but it, trust me, it is disgusting. It's horrible. So, I'm going to do a water change today. I've got quite a bit of foam appearing as well. I don't know what that's all about. I'm not overfeeding. In fact, they didn't have anything yesterday. Um, no reason behind it. I just didn't feed them. Just didn't get a chance to get out here. So busy. Uh, but anyway, let's crack on. I'm going to do a water change. Let's bring you around here and have a look in a minute. I did put a little short up. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but yeah. So we've got the back wall off. I'm going to take these bits out. And then the plan is these big uh, six inch posts here that I've got pulled up. I'm going to screw my four inch posts to. And then bring them out, make a square, cover them in board, decking board probably, for me floor. And then I can put this bad boy on there. Then I'm going to build the frames, framework. This wall, because of the fencing, I won't be able to get to it. So this will be built as the wall, like the whole, shed, the whole side of the shed. So I'll have all the cladding on there and everything. Because I won't be able to get behind there after I've got it up. Um, but the rest of it is just going to be framework for now. And then I'm going to get the filter plumbed in. And then finish the, finish the shed around it. So, happy days. Right, I'm going to crack on, do my water change. Can't wait to get my UV back on, get this water cleared up. And I'll catch you in a bit. So, got that one there level. And bolt it on. Got to put some legs under it just to help support the weight a bit. But mucking about here, just uh, put me other pieces out just to uh, try and get a rough idea of the size. That'll be the size of it in the end. Not 100% sure on the uh, full length. Let's just have a look a minute. Two seconds. Uh, what's on there? Heads up. Now, I'll get back to you in a minute. I'll measure this up and I'll get back to you. So yeah, a little bit bigger than I first anticipated. It's 12 foot across, 8 foot wide. I think that's going to be plenty of room. That filter there is just under eight foot. So I'm, it's going to be a tight squeeze, but it's going to be up along the back wall there. Should give me plenty of room to then come out with my pipe work up the wall and cross up into my shower. Yeah, I reckon that'll be all right. Nice size. Ain't gonna grumble. <laughs> right, catch up in a bit. Well, what can I say? I peed off. I was meant to be going off to see a friend today. God, bloody hot, isn't it? I'm gonna be going off to see a friend today that we've been trying to plan for I don't know how long. Every time we plan it, something pops up. I'm gonna go up in April. 2nd of April, 
1st of April, I got COVID. I'm gonna go up today. Gets on at the 303, 15 miles up the 303. <laughs> Bloody hell's that smell? Ignored it for a bit. Went to pull off a roundabout and stole. What the hell's going on here? Fired the car back up, found it real hard to pull away. Gets to the nearest lay-by. Holy cow. My brakes is all but on fire. So I've got a bad caliper. So I had to let that cool down, turn around and come home. Absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. This, I tell you, I'm not destined to go out there. I was meant to be going out to see Vince up at Twisted Towers up at Basingstoke. But yeah, absolutely gutted. I'm not destined to be out there, Vince, I'm afraid. Uh, we're trying to sort something out for next time. I think this time I'm not even going to plan it with you. I'm just going to turn up. See how that works out. Right, spin you around. What have I been up to? Well, everybody in here is looking absolutely pucker. Water clarity is coming back. I've had the UV on now for the last couple of days. So it's slowly but surely coming back. It got disgusting. It was like really tanned it was, it was weird. Usually without UV the water would go green, wouldn't it? But yeah, no, it's really tanned. So anyway, that's better. Yeah, so but yeah, we're all looking good. Me show her, I had her right while I was doing my water change on Friday. Her, him, whatever it is. <sighs> Absolutely fine. I don't know what that was all about, but last week, like I said, last week he uh he come at me like a pine cone on the Saturday. Oh, great. Come the Sunday, he were a lot better. Well, come the Monday, I wouldn't ever believe anything was wrong with him. So I don't know what that was, whether it was whether the fish get like a 24 hour bug like we do or what, I don't know, but yeah, absolutely perfect again now. So, yeah, anyway, what have I been up to? These are amazing as well. Whenever you're in a bad mood, oh. I was fuming this morning. I come out here and we spent 10, 15 minutes with these guys. A cup of coffee, feeding them some pellets and some shrimp in my hand, like, you know. All the worries go away. So, today I've cracked on with this. So, we've got the frame for the basin. Got to put some supports underneath. Yeah, but. Other than that, that is pretty much it. It's going to be a fair old whack, you know. I uh, measured it at just over 12 foot across there. And then obviously 8 foot wide, long, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, plenty of room. That's sitting there lovely, so that's going to take up that back wall. I've decided what I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna come out of this side of my existing one with a three inch, may, maybe a two, preferably a three, a three inch pipe. So I've got to get some tank connectors and that. And then connect on to the four inch connection, obviously with a reducer. And then obviously the last bay would be up here. Should be around about here. So then I'll have sort of a foot foot and a half to play with down there but then all to be fair all that's got to go there is a ball valve or a or a gate and my pump that's it so my pump be sat there and then it'll fire up the wall and straight out the top into the top of the shower which will be up here that's that job done obviously the uv's got to go in that line somewhere um and i'm gonna leave space for a uh, homemade tempest as well as a final polisher so that'd be ideal so i'll have all my mechanical and then all bio banging so anyway i'm gonna get on do a little bit more like i said i just got to put some supports in underneath now especially along there because the way the filter is going to be on there so yeah happy days get back to you in a bit
All right, Marcos. All right. Sorry, I just had a bit gruff. All right. I'm going to pack up, but there we go. We're done. So, quite happy with that. Couldn't have measured it much better. <laughs> it's going to leave me well, just over a foot there to put on my pipe work and me. Um, a little, 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 little spinny thing. What's it called? Pump. That's the one. Put all that down there. And then, uh, yeah, happy days. Just got to pack all my crap up now. Whoa. One quick question I've got, though. Now, it might be... It's probably obvious to most of you out there. But I've been racking my brains on it, and I just cannot think. All right? Obviously... That's the inlet, so I'm going to put a three inch or a two inch. I want to try three inch to be fair. Um, bulkhead in here, and then a four inch to three inch reducer, and then pipe it up. So that's fine. That's your inlet, all right. But one thing I can't think about obviously, I'm gravity fed. Now this will be the same level. Oh, sit down. The same level as that, the top of there. Alright. Which is obviously pond level, pond water level. Now that's me out there. But it's drawn from the bottom and pulled up. Now if me pumps down here on the floor, that's gonna be an issue, isn't it? Surely. Surely I'm gonna need to take a feed from the bottom, block this up cut that bit off to give me more space and then put a feed in the bottom you reckon or will it win it probably a really stupid question I know but will me pump draw it from there because the thing is it's got a lift first doesn't it it's got a lift of water first well with this if I put one in the bottom it just falls straight into the pump I don't know, maybe I'm being thick, I don't, I don't know. I can't bloody think about it, but... Anyway, let's go see the fish, let them have some grub. Get it back to you. All right. Trying them on the crab stick. They were coming up this afternoon for it, but no, they don't seem interested. Right, they're down there munching at the minute. I've, um... In the evenings, I tend to give them this. Obviously for me little ends. Although they're not really babies, but I've got it there. It saves wasting it, doesn't it? Um, but this here, it's really good for their color. So I tend to give them, oh, camera work. I tend to give them a few of these. Yeah, if you want, yeah. So yeah, they all automatically head to the bottom at night when I get the food out. Because they know that's where they're going to get fed. <laughs> Jaden chucking it in willy-nilly. <laughs> right, let's spin you around. Wow, that's it really this week. So, uh... He's off to bed, little. What's you, what are you meant to be tonight? I'm not going to bed now. What are you meant to be? What's, what's this? Is it a shark? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I'm not going to bed now. No, okay, yeah, fine. Just a hand <laughs> Bloody kids. Anyway, yeah, that's it really this week. Um, so, yeah, any, any advice on that filter? I mean, I just can't get it in my head how it's going to pick it up and you know what I mean I can't I just can't see how feed like feeding the pump from the top is gonna work I don't know maybe I'm being thick and stupid but yeah I not done a bad job now so go and get some decking in the week and put that on that's the floor done then and then I'm gonna start building the frame and then start looking at plumbing it in 
So, happy days, happy days. Bit of a better move now. So, bloody cars like that. Yeah, it's typical though, isn't it? I've been trying my hardest for ages to get up there, go and see Vince, and uh, oh, always something that goes wrong. But hey ho, it is what it is. Still, thank you very much, you lot, for all your support. Thank you very much to all you new and old subscribers. Keep them coming. And uh, just a little side note. Somebody mentioned to me the other day about me not interacting. I do watch videos. I watch hundreds of them. I might not comment on them all. But I can guarantee you if I'm subscribed to you, I do watch your content. Okay. Um, I am a busy bloke. Very busy. What with work and, and everything else going on. Pretty much like everybody else, you know. Um, but unfortunately, I counted up my the channels I'm subscribed to. I'm currently subscribed to 135 of them. Now, when you're all posting out on a weekly basis, it's hard to keep up. But I do get there in the end. Um, many of you will know that I very often sit and have a, a binge on a Saturday morning. Because you'll get loads of videos with loads of comments coming <laughs> if, if I comment on them. But if I don't comment on them, I do give you a thumbs up. And uh, I do watch it, and I watch it all as well. I don't just watch half a video. Um, so yeah, don't worry about that. I will be. I do watch it. So anyway, on that note, catch you next time, muckers. Cheers.